What's up guys, more Medic One here, and today we are going to go over to the Harbor Freight and we're going to look at toolboxes for my kitchen. I saw it on TikTok, I've seen them on Facebook, everybody using the white Yukon 46 inch roll cart for a kitchen toolbox. It's pretty freaking neat. Check this out. Alrighty guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace this little guy right here. This little buffet, it's got some of my cast iron on it and a few knickknacks. And we're going to replace it with, we got some curious kitties. Going to replace it with the Harbor Freight 46 inch Yukon roll cap. And guys, I got this at the Harbor Freight for a super good deal. Um, you have, to, well, basically I, I used my membership. I pay like $20 a year to be on the, the membership for Harbor Freight. A lot of people say that's a joke, but I guarantee you on purchases like this, it saves you a ton. Basically it paid for the tax on it. And uh, whenever you go and give them the coupon for 10% off, it's even more. So it's like, I think we paid exact, how much was it, mama? 360 even? And 49 cents or something. Oh, 40, okay, 360 and 49 cents. And it's normally uh, $420 uh, if you just walk in and purchase it outright. So it's well worth having the Inside Track Club membership and search YouTube or search the, the Google for uh, Harbor Freight coupons. It's a good way to get it at a reasonable cost. But we're going to have to do a few things to it. As you can tell, we've already unboxed it here. And this thing absolutely comes boxed like a Sherman tank. This thing is absolutely dent-free perfect shape and that's the only thing i don't like about buying stuff at a box store is sometimes it's it comes damaged <laughs> but anyway hey we're gonna open up the box of uh, wheels and we're going to put the drawer liners in and then we're going to remove everything from this shelf and we're gonna put everything in the toolbox and show you guys what we're gonna use this for. It's gonna be flipping awesome. Check this out. All right, so we're gonna to have to get this thing kind of tilted up on its end and so we can get the wheels on it. And it's not, you know, too terribly bad. Get 
you know, one person or one man can do it. If he had two people, it would be a lot help. More help. have to break this piece. Okay. So you see you got four mountain holes here. And uh, we're just basically going to mount the wheels to that. Now, I kind of like this. Check these this hardware out instead of because uh, it's kind of hard to get around the uh, those swivel casters with a socket or even the little wrench that they give you, which is absolutely garbage. Babe, would you do the honors, please? <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely useless. And uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to use the allen key right here in the end of it and i'm going to use a long allen and i think it'll be just about right so we're going to take our five mil long and go right in there i'm going to set my gun on one because it doesn't need to be just absolutely booger bear tight you don't want to kill them See how easy that is to get behind that. So if you want to put the crazy wheels down here at the bottom, you can. It just depends on how your toolbox is configured in your shop of how you want the, you know, your crazy wheels or your steer wheels put on. So I decided to put them on this side so whenever it's facing, it'll be facing the correct way. And once we get these casters on, the hardest part is going to be putting it back on its wheels without it sliding all over the place. We'll see if we can do it. All right, so we're gonna mount the handle, but we've decided to maybe leave it off. What do you think, babe? Yeah, leave it off for now. We can always put it on if we want it, but I think it's probably gonna be in the way, honestly. Yeah, because the other one, our other shelf doesn't have any, and we're not gonna ever move it around. I mean, all I'm gonna do is put the, the screws in there, but you can also mount this handle on the other side here, and I'll show you that here in just a second. Now, I don't know how in the world this trap. I'm gonna put a little mat under here, a rubber mat. Maybe it'll keep it from rolling. Oh man. We're going to move this little buffet over in the corner over here so my wife can put her arrow garden on it. As you can tell, we had a little mishap or some miscommunication one time. I had asked my daughter to cut up some cucumbers and, and some tomatoes and yeah, we used the top of this for a cutting board one time and uh, I didn't know it so oh well, you live and learn. It's still all right. I could just sand it and re restain it, but it's going to be covered up anyway.
looks pretty good. Got the wheels locked down. All we need to do now is put the drawer liners in. Either, either way. put some of these together not the Yukon brand but some of them don't even fit very good man this thing fits perfect guys we'll catch you here in just a few minutes we're going to put our stuff in here that we are going to use we'll catch back with you in just a minute Man, that just looks awesome right there, babe. Hey, come open some drawers. Tell me how it looks. You can see why we didn't want to put the handle. It comes out pretty far. And uh, I think people might try to bump their hips on that. Because this box is just a little bit taller and a little, just a little bit wider than that buffet that we had. And as you can tell what we've done with it, we put it over here in the corner of our dining room. And uh, I'll let her tell us what's going on over here. Now, what is this, babe? This is an, called an arrow garden. And what do we've got growing right here? That's all herbs on that one. And the other one has lettuce and stuff on it. Lettuce. And you found this gentleman on... Etsy. Etsy that does 3D printing. 3D printing. And he made all of this stuff from a 3D printer. It's it's for herbs and such. So you can it's got a little light. Pretty neat. And that one is heavy. Got my cast iron in it. And your walk. This is your favorite drawer, ain't it? Some of it. This is my favorite section. New nutritional yeast. Guys, you can take that nutritional yeast and it tastes just like Parmesan cheese without the dairy. I think we showed you this drawer. Check that out right there. Those are my jalapeno popper cookers. I've actually taken and scrubbed this one with my disc sander and, and got it back down to metal and I have need to spray it with oil and bake it at 500. I need to do the same thing with this. This is not rust. This is just uh, oil that has baked on there and I need to get it cleaned up real good. It's not gonna be in the way. I think it would look better with it on, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I thought it would be, we'd bump into it more, but I don't think we would, because I think this is actually a little... No, because, you know, this is, this is the den where we had the Christmas tree, and we're still putting up Christmas presents, or Christmas decorations, and our chairs are going to have to be moved. So, I, yeah, I'll just go ahead and put that on there. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. All righty, guys, we've got that little toolbox for the kitchen filled up almost Definitely already. we got some uh, more room in our cabinets now. Because we got rid of, not got rid of, but some of the stuff that we don't use a whole lot of goes right in here. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Y'all have a good day. More Medic One.